Hello, this is Sarah, and today I'm talking about the PlayStation Portable 2. Now, I have read something about them um, maybe from a month ago, and there has been talk on the internet about the PlayStation uh, Portable Generation 2. It's uh, it sounds interesting, and I to tell the truth, I have a PSP, and I'm really excited to see the new um, new console of it since it's been you know like six years now since the PSP came. So yes, it's time for the new generation PSP to come. Now, um, game console range is about five to six years. The PS1 came in 1994, the PS2 came in 2000, the PS3 came in uh, 2006, well in the PSP came in 2005 and now we're in 2011 so yeah it's, uh, it's about time to I guess announce it. Who knows maybe it'll be announced in this year Z3 oh, or maybe it could be announced in the next Sony conference but you know Sony doesn't uh, doesn't know how to keep their secrets like everyone has known about the PSP Go before it came by ages and there has been rumors on the PSP 2 thing for a while now pictures and stuff anyways the PSP 2 I'm expecting that it will have a more powerful processor so this means it should render more powerful graphics than the current PSP that's one so far, I've also learned that it has a touchscreen and 3G option. So touchscreen means that um, they're competing now with the iPhone, since the iPhone has a big uh, touchscreen uh, game market. Two, the 3G option will allow you to uh, go into the internet from any part in the world without using Wi-Fi, like the iPad. So um, I don't know if this is just for the internet or are they planning to come up with a console that could be used as a mobile phone as well because 3G originally, I don't know, it feels like a mobile option thing more than a console thing. It's kind of nice also to log on the internet from your console. It's really nice, especially if it was a portable console. But it would be also really awesome to have a console that also is used as a cell phone. But so far, there hasn't been a lot of information on the PSP2 yet. Um, who knows? Maybe you'll be also, maybe you'll be able to play PlayStation 2 games on it, like the current uh, PSP plays PlayStation 1 games. Uh, I hope there will be a console or two versions: one like uh, the PSP Go for people to download, and another one with the UMD. Now. If there is one with the UMD, I'm definitely going to get my hands on it. I don't know why, but I like the console to have a UMD uh, in it. And um, I don't know, the idea of the PSP Go just to do download games from the internet doesn't seem like a really good idea. I definitely would prefer a UMD and uh, I hope that they will come up with something that has a UMD uh, disc. Uh, option in it. That's the only thing I'm hoping for. But so far the console looks promising. I'm looking forward to see more about it and I'm following the news to see um, what else Sony has planned for us uh, in this uh, new portable console and how would it compete with, with the, the new current portable co consoles especially that the 3DS is coming. It also has strong graphics. It also has some interesting new options like uh, the balancing feature and the tilting feature. So uh, uh, there's also the, the iPhone, which is also a strong uh, competitor in the portable, um, portable game and console because believe it or not, the iPhone is considered a portable game console to a lot of people so yeah i can't wait to see how this will do and follow i'll follow up the news and uh, we'll keep you um, updated with what i find so yeah that's the end of this video so take care and stay tuned